The Summer Tokyo Olympics are underway with such visibility. Maybe some viewers are thinking about picking up a new sport, maybe a ball or going for a swim. Joining us this morning is Dr. Matt Crow, a sports medicine expert from Mayo Clinic. He's also a former swimmer and competed in the Olympic trials. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Oh, it was wonderful. I was, uh, it was something I had never, never checked off the uh, bucket list. And in 2008, I was in my first year of medical school and uh, uh, swum through college and never gotten the chance to do it and thought it would be a, a fun experience. And uh, went there and roomed with my best friend from college and managed to, uh, uh, I think, support him a little bit as he managed to make the team and go win a gold medal. Wow, that's incredible. So you did this during medical school? I did, I did. So. <laughs> Well, maybe that was your, your peace of mind, right? Well, when, yeah. we're, when we're talking about sports, we're often talking about injuries. What type of injuries do you typically see when it comes time to talk about competitive sports with athletes? Yeah, so it's a, it's a wide variety of things. And it really, you know, I think is uh, uh, a lot dependent on what uh, people are involved in. So, you know, in our swimmers, we see a lot of overuse injuries, but uh, uh, swimming is actually a great rehabilitative uh, sport for a lot of people as well, because uh, done in moderation, it's actually incredibly safe. Uh, you know, we look at our runners, again, overuse injuries, uh, some of the overhead athletes, so volleyball players uh, uh, tend to have some shoulder problems, which develop as well as the, the pitchers in baseball. Uh, and then we're all familiar with our, our basketball and, and football injuries, a little less uh, uh, prominent during the summer Olympic season, but uh, ACL injuries, common knee injuries, and uh, foot and ankle injuries. Growing up, I played baseball for most of my life and soccer for all of my life, and I never, knock on wood, uh, sustained any injuries on the field or on the diamond. However, uh, on a toboggan, I tore both ACLs and MCLs, and uh, that was not fun, not a fun experience at all. I think that's a really good good reminder that uh, as we as we're out and doing uh, other activities, especially as we age out of some of our our youth participation, we tend to think of ourselves as uh, you know maybe still as high level athletes. And uh, uh, taking an honest assessment of where you're at at any given time is a really good uh, really good idea. And you know, kind of seeing if you're you're set up. So if if uh, you go out and play six hours of of soccer over the weekend, uh, you're probably not. Uh, um, going to feel the same way you did when you were 15. So it's a good idea to know where your body's at and then uh, also look around. You know, there's great, great gyms in town. Uh, we also have some great offerings here at the Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine Center at Gate Parkway uh, for some uh, personal, both personal uh, uh, fitness assessment as well as uh, injury prevention uh, courses for ACL and uh, uh, running uh, analysis and uh, uh, golf swing analysis. You know, I always say age is only a number. However, I am a realist. And so when it does come time to uh, train, you know, you really have to make sure you're putting that effort in and not just showing up for the competition. What advice do you have for uh, any athletes trying to, you know, achieve that well-rounded status? Yeah, I think, you know, I think that, like you said, baseball and soccer, two uh, uh, pretty different sports in terms of their demands. I all the way through high school was a swimmer basketball player and played baseball as well. And, uh, uh, did through all three pretty much year round growing up in Arizona. And, uh, I think well-roundedness is really important. I think, uh, uh, sometimes people set their minds at age 11 or 12 on being the, the best in, you know, a certain sport. And certainly, uh, uh, there are examples of that, but there's also a lot of examples of some of the top, uh, athletes in the country, uh, being really well-rounded through their, uh, um, uh, through their teenage years. And we know that that is probably one of the best ways to prevent, uh, to prevent injury is, uh, uh, changing up sports. So throwers we know shouldn't be, shouldn't be pitching and throwing for more than six to nine months a year. Uh, and likewise, soccer players, uh, uh should find another sport that they enjoy doing to prevent some of those, uh, uh, overuse injuries. If our viewers want to get in contact with you, or if they want to learn more about the opportunities being offered at Mayo, how can they go about doing so? Yeah, easiest way is go to our uh, uh, Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine website or uh, give a call to uh, our sports medicine uh, hotline, which is 904-953-0305. Uh, Dr. Crow, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely. My pleasure. Have a great day.